This video will demonstrate how to add and configure an audit trail for an IX project. Start by clicking the Insert Ribbon tab, followed by Audit Trail. The first step in using Audit Trail is to select the action that should be logged. Log All and Log None can be used to enable or disable all actions. In this case, we will select the Show Screen action. The next step is to select which tags should be logged to the audit database. Click on Tags, then checkmark the Others option in order to display the log to the Audit column. We'll enable the Log to Audit property. The tag will now be logged to the audit database. You're also able to add customized audit trail descriptions. These make it easier to read and understand the action. In this case, we add a dynamic description. This means that each tag value is associated with a text string. In order to show or display the audit database in runtime, we need to add an audit trail viewer object. Let's make the text a little easier to read by increasing the font size. In the General Ribbon tab, you can define which columns you wish to be presented in the viewer. Each column can be added or removed from the object. You can also define the width of each column as desired. Let's simulate the application. Click on the Run button. In this simulation, we will log in as two different users and make a few changes. These will be logged to the audit database. We will then view the history of our actions in the audit trail viewer. Notice that we're logging in as user 1 first. Let's turn the pump on and then change it back to off. Next, we'll log in as user 2 and turn the valve on. The audit trail viewer will display all the logged actions. Each row has a message, which is system generated, description, if you've configured one, value before, value after, timestamp, and username columns. Notice the description on the second row displays the dynamic description we entered earlier. 